Yahoo YouTube, I am super Yankee, and in today's video we're going to talk about stepping outside of your comfort zone. How many opportunities go by just because we don't ask? Let's say you are a musician. Let's say you want to build an Instagram following. Let's say that you have been playing guitar for 10 years. Not one, not two, but 10. And you like performing in front of people. You like it so much that you perform in front of people about twice a week. You're not arrogant, but you know you're good. Because people come up to you and say, hey, I like your music. You have two options when they say this. Option one, gee, thanks. Option two, gee, thanks. Hey, if you'd like to support my music, please follow me on Instagram. All opportunities have what they call a lifetime or a lifeline. With option one, you cut off that lifeline. You just say, hey thanks, you go your way, they go their way, and that's it. But with option two, you extend that lifeline by giving them a way to continue their support. This is why so many opportunities go by just because we forget to ask for them. A couple weeks back, I was working an event for United Home Care at Slam Academy Miami. I like teachers. I have been a teacher. I think teachers are admirable people. But something I like even more than teachers is motivators. And when I came to Slam Academy Miami, the teachers were motivators. I thought that was so cool because I want to surround myself with positive people. I want to surround myself with motivators. I want to take positive thinking seriously. So when I meet positive people, I want to invest in them. I want to spend as much time as I can with them. Because I know it's a lonely journey. So I'm working this event and I swear I stayed like two hours afterwards to help clean up. And I said at the end of the event, instead of just saying, gee, thanks for letting me do this. I said, gee, thanks for letting me do this. Is there any way I can get more involved in the SLAM community? Become a part of the teaching community? It's been a couple weeks, not gonna lie. I've been really busy, really focused on other things, but I haven't forgotten the value of that event. And that's what you have to be seeking to do in your own life. Don't forget the value of those positive experiences. Because when someone comes at you with positivity, if you forget that positivity, you're gonna forget to ask for the opportunity. They're correlated together. Today, I'm at SLAM. I don't know where the opportunity is gonna lead me. I don't know what the opportunity is gonna be. But it's the prospect of taking the opportunity over the product. Just from the prospect of taking this opportunity, I was able to film a new YouTube video. Not just having to rely on my old content videos. Just from the prospect of taking this opportunity, I was able to act upon that positive thinking and inspiration that I got weeks ago. And just from taking this opportunity, I was able to step outside of my comfort zone. But remember, the opportunity didn't present itself. I had to ask for it. So my challenge to you is that the next time that you know you have an opportunity on your hands and you know it has a lifetime, ask to extend that lifetime. Ask a follow-up question. Hey, can I come back? Hey, can I help out with this? Hey, can I do that? If you show interest, if you show a deep interest to improving yourself and to prolonging that opportunity and putting more of your time and energy into it, you're gonna get it. Anyway, YouTube, that's the video for today. If this video helped you out, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share it with your friends. We need to get the good word of positive thinking out there to as many people as possible. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.